On the front pages this morning, we're learning from the Find That newspaper that 25.9% drop in blood donation in five months of 2020 due to COVID-19 pandemic. Chief Imam urges mosque not to hold Juma's prayers. Tourism and hospitality sectors record $171 million um, dollars losses to COVID-19 in four months. Ghana and Amandi holding signed $560 million contract for the railway sector. The Ghanaian Times. Exclusion of voters' ID card in upcoming registration exercise. Supreme Court demands legal basis from the Electoral Commission. Tourism, hospitality, industry has all lost $171 million due to COVID-19, according to the tourism minister, Mrs. Barbara Otingesi. You we can't use continuous assessment to progress. JHS, SHS, final year students, according to the education ministry, and don't organize Friday prayers in major mosques until further notice. The chief imam has commanded. Daily Guide. Court orders EC to justify old cards removal. Rawlings demands respect from EC. MPP picks Nana Baumia for 2020. Speaker orders probe into Saglemi housing fraud. As uh, the back of Fort Samsona, he says, uh, the, 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 roots, uh, the works and housing minister... It's just blowing hot air because it's been threatening to take them to court over three years now and nothing has happened. So they are waiting. Daily graphic. Government Amandi signed 500 million euros rail contract. Deal covers 102 kilometers of Western rail line. Provide legal justification for excluding voters' ID card in registration. Supreme Court has ordered the Electoral Commission. And let's protect EC, uh, President Rawlings there with his latest Wole Shoyinka look-alike uh, appearance. Also, business confidence rebounds after lockdown ease. Uh, a report on the front page of the BNFT and Insider as well. NIC must choose business continuity over increased investment. And um, Azuma Nelson knocks out Ghanaians with reverting life story, as he calls uh, President Rawlings a prophet. And also... We're learning that the board chairman of the NCA, Mr. Kukuse Chiado, who hosts a Sunday night show on a local radio station. My guest this morning is lawyer Abraham Amal, but he is the member of parliament. Hey, sorry about that. <laughs> I, I think I'm envisaging him in parliament. He's a, he's a member of the legal committee. In fact, the leader of the NDC's legal committee. Council, welcome. Good morning. How are you good doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And <clears throat> thanks for having me. Yes. Yesterday you were in court. Yes. Uh, what happened? Well, um, as, so good morning to your viewers. Mm -hmm. As you are aware, the NDC filed a suit against the EC. Uh, there were two basic reliefs. There are more, but two are more prominent. Mm -hmm. The first one is to say that if you read Article 45A mm -hmm. and uh, upon a true and proper interpretation of that provision, mm -hmm. it only allows the EC to compile the register once mm. and subsequently they would review it in accordance with law. So we want the Supreme Court to provide that interpretation. Okay. The second one has to do with, uh, even if the EC is minded to go ahead with the registration, mm. the new register, they would have to include the current voter ID card. And so we are impressing upon the court, praying the court, mm to order the EC to include the current voter ID card okay. as, a, as, as a source document mm. for persons who want to register. And what did the court say? The court said they... Now, yesterday, the Supreme Court took an important first step mm. to protect the rights of people to vote, which is requesting or, or, or demanding from the EC to provide the legal basis mm. upon which they excluded the current voter ID card. And I think that we are waiting upon them. Mm. They are supposed to provide the legal basis to the court on or before 8th okay. of June. June. And then we shall go back to court mm. on the 11th of June. This decision that the Supreme Court takes, some have said is, is in accordance with natural, the rules of natural justice. Audi alter and patem, give the other party a chance to speak. So it doesn't really necessarily mean that there's a feather in your cup. Agreed? I have indicated to you that it is an important first step mm. in protecting 
the rights of voters. I have indicated somewhere that the Supreme Court has already made some pronouncement mm -hmm. about the card. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court has indicated that in the Abu Ramadan case, mm -hmm. and no less a person than the former Chief Justice, Georgina Wood, right. who made us this statement, that the, 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 the current voter ID card mm -hmm. is a presumptive evidence mm -hmm. of citizenship. What does that mean? It means that once you are a holder of that card, mm -hmm. you are regarded as a citizen of Ghana mm -hmm. and you can vote. Unless it's a superior argument. Unless it's a superior argument. Mm -hmm. And so, there is also something in law which is uh, presumption of regularity. Okay. And that presumption says that any time a document is emanating from the proper source, it's emanating from government source, mm -hmm. that document is valid until there is a superior argument that will overturn mm. that presumption. So once the EC is the one that provided citizens mm -hmm. with the current voter ID card, mm. it is going to be difficult for the EC to them turn around and say that holders of those uh, ID cards mm. are not Ghanaians. Mm. And so that is why the court ordered that. Look, what are your legal bases? Right. We want those legal bases to help us arrive at an amicable conclusion. Now, don't forget, and I have said this somewhere, the Supreme Court has a duty, and for that matter, the judiciary has a duty mm. to hold this country together. Right. And they've done that in previous times. The judiciary, so let me say this, the executive, mm -hmm. If it fails to hold this country together because it's a partisan institution, one can understand. If the executive fails to hold this country together because it is a polarized institution, mm. one can understand. But the judiciary has you no... You mean the legislature? The legislature, yes. But the judiciary has no business polarizing this country. And I'm saying that the judiciary has, in times like this, been able to weather the storm. Okay. You remember in the 2016 election, mm. when they were bruha about whether we should change a new racer and what are the reasons, and the MPP were all mm. over town, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court took a middle ground. What are your concerns? You said there are people who were holding um, national, national insurance card. Health insurance. Health insurance mm. card. And for that matter, they registered of it. What did the Supreme Court do? And I'm now eulogizing the role the Supreme Court played in that, in that election mm. so that we got it peacefully. They asked this EC to expunge mm -hmm. all those who, have, who registered with the health insurance card. Right. That is what I'm talking about. That the Supreme Court would, as usual, mm. rise above all the partisanship mm. that, and the bickering mm. and ensure that their ruling mm. will hold this country together. That, that deletion, the, the plaintiff in that case, uh, one of the plaintiffs, Abu Ramadan, insists that that deletion of the over 56,000 names did not happen. Did not happen? Yes, but we he, all said saw, it, he said it did not happen. We all saw the, the, the EC going to the Supreme Court with some names. And those names were expunged. You remember, the EC, because, of the, right, because the right to vote is mm. an inalienable right, mm. and you cannot take it away from citizens, mm. And that is the more reason why we have extended uh, voting rights to prisoners. You know, mm. prisoners now vote. Right. Because an inalienable right. Mm. You cannot take it away by the stroke of a pen, by a commissioner sitting in his office, by a stroke of a pen, disenfranchising people. Mm. It's inalienable. And so because of that, you remember the Supreme Court said that if you expunge the names, give them the opportunity mm. to re-register by using the cards that are acceptable. Mm -hmm. And they did that. Some came back and re-registered. So I think that what is happening now mm -hmm. is an opportunity given to the EC to convince the Supreme Court mm -hmm. as to whether or not it was right for them to take off the voter ID card. Okay. And so for me, it is one important step Mm. towards 
ensuring that the right to vote is protected by the Supreme Court. Okay, join us on WhatsApp 020216663. Let me place on record that we're looking forward to receiving the new patriotic party's representative this morning. As and when uh, the individual comes in, we shall give him or her a seat and hear his part of uh, his side of the, of the narrative as well. But this is TV3 New Dates Live, and we encourage you to join us on social media live and um, share your thoughts and comment with us. We'll, we're big on them. We'll read them, and the hashtag is TV3 New Day. But pay, today is International World Environmental Day, or World Environmental Day. Council, I'm looking around us as a people, and we're talking about conserving the, the environment. We're talking about ecology. We're talking about um, stopping uh, the stoppage of um, illegal logging. We're talking about stopping sun winning. We're talking about all the things that will pro protect the environment. And yet, it doesn't seem as if we're making any forward march. What is holding our leg? Do you know? Look, we are a people who are poor at preserving and conserving the environment. That must be told. Why do you say that? That must be told. Why do you say that? Our forest cover has dwindled mm -hmm. to the extent that we are beginning to witness climate change, mm -hmm. which is affecting all of us in this country. Mm -hmm. We're built on waterways. Some of the things that has led us to becoming poor in preserving the, the environment mm. is as a result of indiscipline on our part. Mm. Oh yes, I will say it. <clears throat> Accra is a low-lying area. That is not in doubt. Mm. But that is not an excuse for it to be flooded anytime there's a 30 minutes of rainfall. Yes, flooding is a natural disaster. Mm. But the extent to which a crowd floods begs the question. We build on waterways. We, as a people and a government, construct open drains. What do you expect? What do you expect when you have open drains? Mm. People, naturally, will throw in, and I've told you how indisciplined we are. Some of us, not all of us. Mm. will throw rubbish into it. It will choke. For that matter, when it rains, into the water running, apart from you, you stopping its natural course by building on it, mm -hmm. the gutter too, you've blocked it. You cannot, you cannot imagine how our forest environment has been depleted. Mm -hmm. Day in, day out, you find uh, people cutting uh, uh, this uh, uh, wood mm -hmm. from our forest and you have Policemen stopping, they too, they will not do their works properly by arresting people. Rose roots mm -hmm. in the northern part of this country, which is being depleted at an alarming rate. People have complained. My brother, a park, mm -hmm. is on a crusade mm -hmm. on it, yet you find these things happening. The law is working. The, the government says we are working at it. And yet, the EIA did a survey, uh, I, and, and we're working at it. And yet, we have a report that has implicated government officials for aiding and abetting the cutting of these uh, woods. And they have raised red flags against that report. Yes. What do you expect? That if you are a thief, and they say you are a thief, you will rebut. But if you have an independent body mm. coming out with a research finding, an independent body there has nothing to lose or nothing to gain mm -hmm. in whether or not your wood <coughs> is being cut out, is being cut. Mm -hmm. You must first have an inclination towards that report than government that will normally protect itself. So the indiscipline on our part, the fact that we do not, as it were, imbibe in ourselves, mm -hmm. our old cultural practices mm -hmm. that guarantees the, the, the health of the environment. Mm -hmm. In some communities, when we're growing up, we're told that you don't cut down trees in certain parts of the community. Mm -hmm. And so you have a, a place that they will tell you that there are shrines there just to keep you away. Mm -hmm. 
from cutting the environment. These are all cultural practices that were meant to preserve the environment. Modernity and technology won't let you. I mean, if you tell my son these days that don't whistle while you bath, he would look at you and laugh. There are some of them which are ridiculous, but there are some which I think that we can, uh, if we had abided by them, mm. today we'll not be talking about our environment being depleted. So do, I think... Do you see failure on, on the side of officialdom? We, we have blamed the people, say they are indisciplined. Do you see failure on the side of the officialdom? For example, EIA presented a report, its findings. Government says it's put together a team to look at it. Um, Dr. Park and some other persons come and say, look, the same people who have been accused are the very persons you are putting together to to reprimand themselves if they find any wrongdoing or actuality in it. Do, do you see unwillingness on the side of, of officialdom? Because it's been many, many months since that report came out and nothing, nobody has been held. Nobody's foot has been held to the fire. Government cannot extricate itself from this blame. In fact, you are talking, we are just limiting ourselves to the uh, uh, the environment in terms of the wood. No, that's, that's one leg of it. But even in a Galamse fight, we have seen government officials complicit, neck deep. In, an, in a period that the president himself stuck his neck out and said that if, if the fight against Galamse would lead to him losing his presidency, mm. so be it. You have his officials complicit. I need not mention names, you know. That's, that's, that's commitment on the part of the president that, look, you have given me power. I respect it. If this happens, I'm going to, to drop it. The and, people have failed him. And, and if that same president have his appointees mm. engage in those nefarious activities, and what he does is to look the other way, how can you still be commending that, that president? That person needs to be condemned by you, not to be praising him. Because if you continue doing that, those acts, those nefarious acts will continue. Tell the president, you championed a good cause, but your own conduct, your commission and omission mm -hmm. has led to the results being negative. Mm -hmm. So tell him in his face. And then tell him to crack the whip on his appointees. So that is why government comes in and is complicit. The lack of political will and the fact that there are fears on the part of government that if we take this fight to its logical conclusion, we may lose votes mm -hmm. from the Galamse areas mm -hmm. or from those who are engaged in uh, depleting the environment. Mm -hmm. It's what is making government not be able to fight the, the canker. Mm -hmm. And I think that government, which is supposed to, 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 to cater for the welfare needs of the people, mm -hmm. cannot be left out in this, uh, in this blame. See, I have talked about in this Go Government put together a task force, for example, for uh, Operation Vanguard for the fight against Galamse. And we put together a committee. That's commitment as well. We bought drones. In that fight... We saw a change when Operation Vanguard started. In the fight against Galamse, the, the, the tumor, the tumor in that fight mm -hmm. was the committee put, 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 put together by the president. How do you say that? Why? Why in, you fact, say that? in fact, that committee was the virus that led to the failure of the... Galamse fight. The, the, and that is why... The interministerial committee. I'm saying that... The interior minister, you, 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 the defense minister, yes, environment minister, yes. lands and natural resources yeah. minister, four very remarkable gentlemen putting together with the military, yes. the police, and yes. immigration. Yes. And you say that was the tumor? It was the tumor. Do, see, you don't look at the committee in, as persons. You look at the committee as a whole. Okay. We saw people receiving cash mm -hmm. in the form of bribery to allow the Galamsey activity to go on. People were counting money in the forest as if there was a bank nearby. Such a person is still in the presidency. So the fight was just lip service, mm -hmm. but in practice, it didn't resolve the issue. 
Look, I think late last year, we were making comparisons, the water before and the water now, the level of the water, the, the, the color of the water. Mm. Mm? And we saw that it was more brownish, even this time, mm -hmm. than it was. And so the reason for which we were fighting the Kalamse menace was mm. to ensure that water bodies are cleared. Mm. And you heard the Ghana Water Company indicate that the fight against Galamse has not improved the water that they envisage that will be used to supply the people of this country. And so if you look at all the pros and cons mm -hmm. of the fight against Galamse and to protect the environment, this government will score low max. You mm -hmm. saw how, uh, uh, you saw how, um, uh, what is the name of those things? Those caterpillars, those uh, um, excavators were missing when they were seized from, in some of the, some of the cases, they were even returned to do their owners. Mm. The, the, the committee you are talking about returned those uh, equipments to their owners. They, they got missing. They were not returned. They got some missing. were returned to the, their... The Minister no, for Environment no, says they no. got missing. And then you have a conflicting uh, report from a member of the committee saying that, no, they were returned to their owners. Oh, so wow. missing. And it is more serious to say they are missing. Mm. <laughs> you are wasting their situation for them. It is not supposed to be uh, missing. That thing cannot get missing. That thing is too huge. It is not like um, a pen that you put in your pocket and you are walking away. Mm. How did that huge equipment get missing? And so there are more questions than answers when it comes to this government's attempt to protect the environment. And the Galamse uh, question is, is, is how, what? How do we change the narrative? It's for government to crack their whip. Is it's, it just it, government? It, wait, I have talked about indiscipline. Right. It's about government taking a firm decision that we are going to do this and we'll do it It's logical and no matter what it is. And that if officials mm. are found, you know, thwarting the effort mm. that we have all agreed to put our shoulders to, that person must be punished. I have not yet seen anybody who has been punished with all these allegations about the committee's uh, involvement. I've not seen anybody, not even a reprimand. And I think that's an indictment on the government. I also think that the, the, people- The gentleman from the uh, central region we see had been, was picked up by the police. What has become of it? And to, well, we know the process. Is what, you, what, you process? Pro, you pro, you what process? What process? I am the, a the lawyer. That's why, that's, slowly. that's why I have said that, because I'm a lawyer, that's why I said what has happened. My chairman, within two days, was sent to court. My chairman. Still in court. If the government wants to work, as they are working and because they want our chairman to be wasting his time in court, they've sent him to court. If they intend to do the same, they would have sent these people to court. The evidence is there. The evidence is not difficult to find. And so, please, stop defending the government. They I'm have not defending not the government. I'm stating what well, is well, well, yes, but uh, I understand you. Even if, uh, look, in court, if the other party has no uh, representation, like there's no representation here. The judge becomes the lawyer for the person who hasn't got his lawyer there. So I understand you. I can forgive you. But you see, it is important that we also crack the whip on citizens mm -hmm. who sort of are indisciplined towards the environment. Now, I have said that, why do we allow people to build on waterways? That, for me, water as it is, has its natural course, mm. you see? And so if you block it and you don't engineer it well, I know in some, it's possible to block water waste okay. and engineer it well for it to take a, a different course. Have we done that? That is what we have failed to do. And that, we build on it, but we, are, we fail to use technology as we are talking about to divert the course properly. And so you block the water by building on it mm. and your drainage system too is poor. And so, you have flooding anytime it rains. Okay, I'm getting a lot of uh, messages asking why you are not wearing a face mask. Uh, oh, but I thought the distance between 
But you, you, you have me. a face mask. You have a face mask. I have a face mask. So if there was a second person here. So wear it. Wear your if face there was mask. a second person here, it would have been. Okay. Let me let me read the intro to this and then you can wear your face mask, please. Oh. Zero two zero two one six. You want me to wear my face mask? Three three. And on page five of the Daily Guide the newspaper, uh, speaker orders probe into Saglemi House in fraud. The Speaker of Parliament, Professor Aaron Michael Quay, yesterday uh, ordered an investigation into allegations that the former Minister for Works and Housing. Collins Dowda irregularly varied a parliamentary approval for the con construction of 5,000 affordable housing units under the Saglemi housing project in the cost, uh, at the cost of 200 million US dollars. Mm. The Minister for Works and Housing, Samuel Atacham, told Parliament that his predecessor in his own motion or on his own motion reviewed the original agreement and signed a dubious, uh, in quote, agreement with Messrs. Constructura OAS Ghana Limited to downsize the number of houses to be constructed to uh, 1,502 housing units with the same contract sum of 200 million. And that's what is yesterday on Hot Issues, uh, the Deputy Minister at the time, Honorable uh, Samsi Ahi, MP for Bodhi, who is also uh, the man who was in charge of the project at the time, shot down what lawyer Tatcha said in Parliament. And, his basis was that they've been told so many times that they will be taken to court. And if the minister insists that there's a value for money audit council that is presently being con con conducted, why the rush to make public pronouncements? You are the lawyer here. If you go to parliament based on executive approval, to go to parliament to go and uh, tell parliament, this is what the government has agreed. Parliament agrees and okays monies for you via mortgage system and through Ghana home loans to say, construct 5,000 housing units at Saglemi. Now, by the time we're looking at what has been constructed, it's less than 5,000, it's been uh, variated, and they insist that parliament was not told. Is that proper? First and foremost, I think that Atatia is playing to the gallery. You are the minister today. Mm. And ever since Atachian took over that ministry, I have had time without number mm. who will prosecute. This is the fourth year mm. of Atachian's uh, stay in that ministry. Mm. So what is this about? Anytime the Saglami housings, I, I, when I'm, I'm going to hold, mm. that's a route I see them. Okay. And I get worried. They are almost, com they, are, they are complete, not almost. Uh -huh. All you need to do is to connect electricity mm. and then connect water and access road. Three. Three things. Why won't you do these things, complete them, let people go into the house mm. or the houses? Because it was to cater for the needs of the people. Mm. And we've talked about how the housing deficit mm. has impacted on Ghanaians. And so when those houses are built, mm. it is to reduce the number of houses, uh, the number of uh, House, the deficit. deficits. Okay. So why wouldn't you concentrate on ensuring that they are habitable while you also look at, and I'm not saying that you should forget, mm. while you also look at prosecution. But you have hammered on prosecution mm. for the past four years, and the houses are what they are. Can't we also be Telling Atachi here that mm. what he's doing is causing financial loss to the state. Is he? Why not? Why not? Houses have are about 95, 98% complete. Mm. You've not ensured that people can habit, habit, habit their place. Mm. And now your attention is on prosecution. Because he says what was bargained for is not what he is getting. So he can't find some of the materials on the site, for example. Uh, how does he move in there? You don't, you don't listen to what Atachi has, says, has said as gospel truth. Mm. What you do is to go in there, like I have gone mm. past there and I've seen, to see whether that, those houses can be habited. Okay. The, whether people can go in there and start living in there to reduce the number of the deficit. But if you as it were, concentrate on prosecution, you are not doing it. Mm. And people too cannot go in there. You are causing financial loss to the state. Are there variations and in, in, in agreements, can you vary the terms? So, is there a leeway mm. 
in contracts of that nature. Some CIA says the agreement they had was for the 5,000 housing units. Yes. But it was to, be, to have been done in three phases over a four to five year period. The first phase was supposed to have been completed in 12 months, which obviously has failed. Mm -hmm. We couldn't achieve that 12 month timetable. It's way because we started in 2012 under Mr. E.T. Mensah. So that three, three prong approach. Now, another step, uh, another leg of the conversation is that Honorable Atacha insists that uh, the first part of the money that was paid was 40%. Some he says 20% was what was paid, not 40%. And so the minister has a lot of inconsistency. So it's better of waiting for the value for money audit that he told parliament about than rather going out to make such pronouncements. But he says that he has his leg on the stone and he will throw the stone very soon. And I remember Atachi saying that he has commissioned an audit of yes. those houses. Right. And that was just, is it this year, early this year or late last year? Mm. And so if your audit report is not out and you are ahead of your audit report telling people uh, that you are going to prosecute somebody, mm. Because now, how, what it is now is the word of Atachi yeah, mm -hmm. as against the word of Sam mm. But the audit report that he has commissioned would clarify this. Mm. So I think that he should tone down on threats mm. to prosecutions and focus on the work that is left to be done mm -hmm. so that people can go in. When his audit report now comes out, mm. he can now go to town on the prosecution matters. But I thought that for the past three years, this place should have been... But, uh, but, but uh, then somebody would ask, if you don't know the value of what you have, how do you sell it? For example, yesterday I asked Honorable Samson, it says a three-bedroom apartment at the time could go for 40,000 US dollars, which I thought was way too expensive if we're tagging it as affordable houses. Now, the minister says we, could have, we may have spent more than what we, we told Parliament we were going to spend. If you go ahead and sell it at 40000 for example, and you later find out that the value is worth more than that, what have you done to the state? No, 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 no. Ahi is not dead. Mm. The previous administration, mm. members are still around. He has taken over. Mm. What stops the two uh, groups of people mm. meeting to trash out whether or not mm -hmm. the price of the houses mm -hmm. is affordable and can be reduced or cannot be reduced. $40,000 is not affordable. Though. That's what I'm saying that for big men like we, are, we are going to another level, mm -hmm. which is the price of the, uh, 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 the, facility. the, the facility. I'm, I'm just playing the devil's advocate and saying Yeah, that. I agree. What if, what if you, you give it out mm -hmm. now at a certain price? only for the value for money audit to come out, the results to come out, and then it appears that you should have sold it at a bigger rate. Do you go back to the occupants to tell them, oh, give me an extra, or what do you do? No. I've indicated to you that these two groups of people are there. Mm. They can meet and discuss it. But do you know that it is going to be more expensive now okay. completing it mm. than if they had completed it a year, two years ago? That is also going to contribute to the cost of those houses. Mm. So my problem is the facility is there. Mm. It is 90%, 95% completed. Mm. At that, yeah, can you just complete it? And then people can go in there. Then you can now be talking about this. Uh, you, you are talking about pricing. Right. Yes. They don't need to pay immediately. Okay. In fact, in such uh, type of uh, issues, it's like, it's like a mortgage. Mm. You stagger it. But it you stagger would, payment. It, it, would take, it would take the average civil servant no, no, no. all life through to pay for oh, it. Oh, no, no. And for the cost, uh, sitting where I sit, I know it's way above. Mm. And I don't even know the basis for calling those houses affordable houses. Mm. Yes, I don't know the, 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 the bottom line, okay. the foundation for calling such houses mm. affordable houses. Mm. I think... They are just, it's a misnomer. Mm -hmm. There were houses which are affordable mm -hmm. and they were built to ensure that persons at the lower level of our uh, social strata mm -hmm. could afford it. Right. They just took that name and applied it to such type of houses. They are not affordable. If you say it is 40,000, that must be way above. But why do we do that to ourselves? Because essentially we're picking money, we're going for loans and we'll pay with the bundies of the poor people. 
and the poor people cannot afford the homes we say we are building for them. Why do we do this to ourselves? No, there are a category of houses. There are three. Yeah, there are... Three bedroom, two bedroom, yes. one bedroom. Yes. And I'm saying that for whatever, for whichever loan we went for, facility we went for, to come to build this, we would service those loans with monies generated from the poor people. Now, the poor people cannot afford the house. So what have we done? You see, we had built facilities like Adenta Senate mm. Flats. Mm. That was targeted at a, a certain class of people. Right. In the regions, mm. in Greater Bolgatanga area, because Kumasi is not Greater Kumasi, in Greater Bolgatanga you're, area, you're playing mischief. in Greater Bolgatanga area, there is also a SNIT affordable houses right. that is targeting a group of people, right. a class. I think that this is also targeting another group of people. Mm. But the name affordable is a misnomer. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. Yes. On this particular project. In this particular project, yes. Okay. It's a misnomer. So how should we proceed now? Yeah. We should proceed by completing the houses mm. and let people who can afford go in there. Then, good, good for Atachi, yeah? mm -hmm. he has commissioned uh, an audit mm -hmm. on the activities of former officials. Mm -hmm. If that audit comes out and it is clear mm -hmm. that people are culpable, I have time again said that the NDC mm -hmm. stands for probity and accountability. The NDC will not run away. And I heard, uh, what is his name? Uh, he himself mm -hmm. say that <clears throat> he is waiting because <clears throat> Atachi has always threatened to go to court. Right. I, I heard I, he, as some, he himself said that he is waiting for the day that Atachi would haul him to court mm. because he has done nothing. So, bef uh, you know, in all this fight, mm -hmm. who is suffering? Tell me. Is the people, the people mm -hmm. who are supposed to occupy those houses mm -hmm. that are not occupying the houses that are suffering? It's not Samson Ahi. He has his comfortable place he's living. It's mm -hmm. not attached, yeah? Mm -hmm. He has his comfortable place he's living. There are people who drive past and see those houses and wish they were living in those houses. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who are suffering. Okay, let's uh, take a look at some of your messages that you've been sending in. And may I place on record that this morning we have not gotten a representative from the New Patriotic Party on the show. We made provision to allow for a fair debate on both sides, but we have not gotten the rep yet. But let's go to the screen now and uh, take a look at some of the messages that you have been sending to us this morning uh, per the conversations we've been having. And uh, you can keep sending in your messages as we make progress. The, the first one says, the inalienable right to vote is entrenched in the Constitution, not in a certain gene mensa. She has no authority to determine which Ghanaian can or cannot vote. The Constitution is supreme in all matters. Nanado must go and leave Ghana in peace. Musa Nima. Uh, Prince Henry in Kofridia. Good morning, Johnny. So, my son is having a, he has an NHI card, an NIA card, which I'm not, I don't have. He gets registered on the voter's roll, and he has the power now to introduce me to the EC that uh, I am his father and I'm a Ghanaian. Between my son and I, who has the right to say who is a Ghanaian? Hashtag the EC must listen. Good morning, Johnny. The voter's ID card will work. Let our fingers, uh, let's uh, cross, uh, get our fingers crossed. And, um, okay. Uh, Clement D D K uh, Nyagbo Sro Sroy, and uh, good morning, Johnny. Please, for the benefit of the adults, the AC's decision of taking out the voters' ID card is with the offset. Well, the matter is in court, so uh, let's uh, hasten slowly on that one. Abbas Amogobo in Offenso says, "This is the this is the time for EC to prove that there are some foreigners on the voters' ID card." That's what you're saying. That the EC must prove that there are some foreigners on the voters' ID card, and that will be the basis for uh, rejecting them. And we want to see how many Togolese the EC will present to the Supreme Court now. Good morning, Johnny, my the beautiful crush who reads the messages. That's Etna. Uh, she, she's uh, going to freshen up after the exercise. And um, has done a, AC has done a very, the Supreme Court has done a very good job, which we're all proud of. But when the verdict is finally concluded, I believe everyone will be happy with it as well and let the peace reign ghana god bless ghana uh epaphras in dansuman uh good morning tv3 i begin to wonder if the peace council members today are the same people who are in 2015 and 2016 and you are asking that question those who are in 2015 and in 2016 i want to know if uh, you can join a peace council as a member or they were voted for by uh, ghanaians 
Ghanaians are watching them. And trust me, before this COVID-19 ends, we will know the true man of God from Joseph. And uh, are we, uh, as we're talking measures to eradicate COVID-19 pandemic, I suggest we pay attention to the bread, kinky, and watches sellers. I've observed most of these sellers use the same hand they used to hold the money from the buyers to sell the fish. Um, please, I'll, have, I'll be happy if the government can do something about it. I tried advising some and they ended up insulting me. Thanks, a consent citizen. That's a very strong point uh, you raised there. Good morning, Johnny. The Supreme Court has shown that the AC shouldn't behave as if they know everything. Anybody can stop them from performing their mandate. Uh, well, it's early days yet. Uh, slow down. George Marfo in West Lagon. Good morning, TV3. When it comes to environmental protection, we have failed as a nation because government and officials from responsible state institutions are complicit in attempts to degrade our natural environment. We keep depleting our water resources, soil quality, flora and fauna, and without any cost to sustainability because of our greed. God save our ecosystem. KK, an environmentalist and health tutor at the NMTC Isiama inside the Lembele KK. Thank you very much. Good morning, Johnny, and the panelists. Oh, there's only one panel member. Johnny, today, many mosques and churches are not going to fellowship all over the country due to either not trusting the information given out by the authorities or not being able to follow the throat cutting conditions put out before the churches and the mosque can operate. Human life supersedes everything. Many people are silent, not because they can't speak, but at every regime, there's a way of showing disapproval, and people should be ready to take responsibility of the decisions that they take. Isa in offense. So good morning, Johnny. It's a pity how our government has stampeded the work of the independent constitutionally mandated bodies like the EC. You don't know that for a fact. Um, there is former President J.J. Rawlings in Ghana. I haven't heard his position on the EC's attempt to disenfranchise many people, including me, by refusing to use the old voter's ID card. Times have actually changed. Jacob from Borga. Good morning. This administration is good at telling well, untruths. How can you be pro prosecuting uh, former government officials only by words since three years now? They should get ready. Uh, their time will come, and uh, soon will come December 7 polls. David, in Adenta. Let's take one final issue, and then we'll go. The, the minority in Parliament Council is demanding for an account to be presented to them and for the Auditor General to look into the spend of some 280.3 million CDs. Um, and they say for COVID. Uh, they're talking about provision of food for the poorest of the poor and the vulnerable. They're also talking about provision of water and sanitation services and tanker services in the communities. And they're talking about um, uncooked food as well. So cooked food on one side, uncooked food on the other side, and the provision of water and sanitation services, all of which the government says they did a 280.3 spend. Now they're saying this is too much, maybe, and they doubt, so they're asking the Auditor General to come in. But on the reverse, the Information Minister says, we have not even finished this whole fight against COVID. And you are just interested at this, at the first instance, in asking for the Auditor General to get into this. Your preoccupation should be to help government to help us fight COVID-19 and make sure that the people are safe rather than be making these calls at this time and he calls it premature. You are the lawyer here. Uh, you represent your party as well. What are your initial thoughts? Kojo Opong Nkrumah. Kojo Opong Nkrumah told me before he went to parliament. Mm -hmm. You know, we are both uh, students of the University of Cape Coast, the same hall, mm -hmm. Casford Hall, and the university had a Ha, had the opportunity of uh, organizing some uh, fora and mm -hmm. invited the two of us. Mm -hmm. In our discussions before we got to the university, Kojo Opong Bukoma told me that he was going to be a different member of parliament. He's not mm -hmm. going to go in there. And that time, NDC was in power, so he was not going to go in there and be in the, uh, the government line or party mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm seeing the opposite of Kojo Opong Kuruma. He's a government spokesperson. In fact, I had opportunity when he was going to contest to have said that I think he'll be a nice, uh, fine minister, mm. uh, uh, MP. Right. Isn't it Kojo Opong Kuruma mm. who organizes Tuesday and Thursday uh, 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 press, platforms, press, briefing. press right. briefings mm. for the people of this country mm -hmm. on COVID? Didn't the Minister of Health mm -hmm. 
on one of those uh, press briefings, mm -hmm. tell the whole of this country that we should begin thinking of living, living with a disease. Right. And that we have been living with malaria, mm -hmm. we have been living with TB, and this is adding to the number of diseases we have to live with. So if Kojo Nkrumah says that COVID is still there, mm. and we have not finished fighting COVID, how do you juxtapose that with the Minister of Health's statement? Have we finished fighting malaria? Said that if there were many voted for malaria, mm. and when the malaria struck, we, I don't know which years, mm. would we have accountability up to today? So these are people who behave like corn men. Oh, and council, 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 and 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 Ca council. No, no, no. Council. My, those are my words. Yes, but those no, are my words. No, can you use an, another expression, please? Those are my words. They are not your platform's words. You know, it's my words. I have, I'm saying it. No, but you cannot. You cannot. Okay, say give me, like give me the one that most. You are, you are, you studied Latin. So you studied to... Latin and Greek. How do I begin to teach you? Yes, English? and in my language, they say that if somebody is doing something wrong, tell him in his face. Okay. So I don't know what to say again. Okay. You see. Now, you went to Parliament specifically for money to deal with lockdown issues. Lockdown mm. issues, oh. Lockdown issues. You said you were going to feed some number of people. Parliament gave you the money. As we speak, are we still in lockdown? So if the minority says that, account for the money you came for, you don't say that, let's wait till COVID ends. When your demand for the money mm -hmm. was targeted at the lockdown. Says, let's wait till the fiscal year ends so that the account will be made. The well, fiscal I, I, year, you, said, you said here that you are amending your system. No, no, no. But this is not, this is a special, this is a special. A special demand. Demand you okay. went to parliament but, for. But it says, okay, so the fiscal year will end and you will get uh, the, the results. So this is a special uh, uh, request you went to parliament for. This is not your budgetary allocation, your usual budgetary allocation. Right. You asked for an, an amount to problem. deal with a specific matter. That matter has ended. We are no more in lockdown. Okay. Account. Well, there are some that may go beyond. So if the people of this country, the representatives of this country are saying that, account for the lockdown issues or monies, mm. all you do is to account and then go there and say that. It's also an accounting. If you go there and say that, however, there are some which we are still doing. Okay. That I will agree. Mm. That is also accounting. Right. Accounting just doesn't do me debit and debt. It also tells you, you should tell mm. the people mm. the extra money, what is happening to it. Okay. But to just make a blanket statement, let's wait till COVID is over and that the minority should be, should be concerned with the fight against COVID. If there's any group of people who are more concerned about the fight against COVID, it's mm. a minority. It's by asking for accounts, that's your show has of done, concern. Has done, has done more than that. This minority mm. has indicated that we should lock our borders much earlier. The president himself went out and brought some of them. The first two cases, one of them was the, because of the president reckless travels. He went, when there was a time when the Minister of Health, Minister of Health said that, if you visited a country which has recorded the uh, coronavirus, when you come quarantine yourself, did he do it? Did the president do it? You don't know that he that did what? it or he didn't. <laughs> the president was, I was here with you, 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 I was here with you. When the president was walking about at uh, airport inspecting facilities so the indiscipline on the government's part is the cause of the problems we are having now account for money to you account why if you run a country like this is your uh, your your chop bar this is the result that we will have hmm. also i thank you very much i think we we need to go thank yeah you. you have had you have had all the morning to oh, yourself. Yes. Because it is the, not my fault that they didn't because come. Because the MPP yes. uh, rep is not here. But yes. I thank you very much also for your attention this morning.